In this lesson, I'd like to cover some of the standard terminology used in Revit architecture. Autodesk creates a consistent user experience across their software, which will allow Revit to feel familiar if you've used any other Autodesk products. As you can see, familiar tools such as the ribbon, the quick access toolbar, and infobar are located along the top of the screen, which I'll dive into with more detail in the next lesson. I have set up the screen so that the properties palette appears on the left hand side. Currently, it is showing a schedule. Clicking in this sheet area changes the properties palette to include the information on the title sheet. These sheets in Revit are distinct from other Autodesk software. In AutoCAD and similar software, you work with drawings saved as DWG files. In Revit, you work with sheets like this one, and projects are saved as RVT files. There's some important terminology to be aware of when working with the project browser, located on the right. Moving to the top, you can see the project browser organizes all of the views of the project. Each view expresses the information of the underlying model from a different perspective. Next, I'd like to show you a project's floor plans. Clicking on Level 1 brings up a 2D representation of the first level of the project. It's important to make the distinction that this is not a drawing, but a floor plan, a 2D representation of all the three-dimensional information contained on the first level of the project. Moving over to the site view shows a 2D representation of the project site as a whole. Revit also provides 3D views of the project. For example, selecting the Kitchen 3D view brings up the rendered image of the kitchen shown in the first lesson. Elevation sheets are also available, containing the elevation and grid information of the site. This is the elevation view from the north. There are also additional views for sections, wall sections, and detail views. The rendering branch contains any 3D renderings made in Revit, and its functionality will be explained in later lessons. This planting schedule is an example of a text view and is set up similar to an Excel spreadsheet. Text views provide a simple, text-based representation of the model. Schedules, quantities, and legends are all text views created in Revit and will be explored more in a later video. None of these views are classified as drawings. Instead, I have a single project with various views and sheets. This section of the project browser displays all of the different sheets included in the project. The site plan sheet provides basic information about the project site, as well as the sun survey in the upper right. This sheet shows all of the project's floor plans. When sheets are exported from Revit, they are exported in the sheet file format. However, you can still print them in the same way you may print a drawing file in AutoCAD. Families are an important part of the Revit browser and contain sets of building elements. As you can see, there is a long list of different families. For example, the Doors branch contains all of the different doors used in this project, with information about each type. Revit families are similar to AutoCAD blocks, but contain much more built-in building information. This is most of the standard Revit architecture terminology. It is important to remember that Revit works with one 3D model. The user is able to explore a variety of views, sheets, and families using the project browser to get a good picture of the model from any side and make any necessary changes.